What's up everybody? Welcome back to Bayou Bandit Charters. Out here this afternoon, Dolphin Island, Alabama. We've got some storms approaching. Just had one good shower come through. Water is pretty stained, pretty rough looking. Well, we're gonna try to target some flounder. We're after some big ones today, y'all. We're gonna try, try to get 18 and above, maybe a 20 inch doormat, maybe bigger, who knows? Don't have that long to fish. Looks like about an hour, hour and a half before those storms roll in. They got a lot of thunder in there with them. So today, I'm gonna be throwing uh, throwing the pink. I'm gonna be throwing the Smackdown. That is a color I haven't thrown in quite a while. I've been sticking with a chartreuse. So we're gonna give the old Smackdown a try, see if we can smack down on some big doormat flounder. If you like this content, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. We put out a video every Sunday morning at nine o'clock, fishing along the Alabama and Mississippi Gulf Coast. Enough talking, let's get in here, see if we can hook a big flounder. All right, we got a big storm right there headed this way. We got one right there headed this way. It's all moving from the north, headed south. Gonna be challenging. All right, <clears throat> let's get started here. Got some pretty good south wind, pretty stained water. We've got a falling tide. I'm gonna hit this little, this little bit of marsh grass out here in the middle before we start over there on the shoreline. Anytime you see little breaks in the marsh like this, these little marsh islands. Ooh, I hear thunder. Come on, let me just get one or two big ones. That's what we after today. <clears throat> we after some big ones. Come on, flounder. Where are you at? When you flounder fishing, <clears throat> always fish tight to structure. <clears throat> Y'all know the deal. Y'all been watching my videos. All right. Here we go, flounder, flounder, baby, flounder. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a big one, son. That's a big one. Let's go, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Boom. Tell me they don't love these fish bites. You can't even see the gosh dang bait, son. Absolutely swallowed it. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, baby. When I say choked it, y'all look at that. You tell me those flounder don't love these baits. I mean, I didn't give that fish long at all. I'm gonna have to keep that girl. Absolutely swallowed it. Big old flounder. Twenty, baby. 20 and a half. Come on, close your mouth. Get on in there. 20 inches. 20 inch door mat, baby. Dolphin Island door mat. Whoo! Whoo! Man, that was an awesome, awesome fish. 20 inch, that hits doormat category right there. Doormat status. Man, that's what we are after today. Let's go. Let's see if we can get in here, catch a few more of them before we get rained on. This may be a short video. The thunder rolls. 
Try to position my boat where I can throw down both sides. Give that bait a little twitch, twitch pause. Come on, weather, hold up for me. Hold up for me. Man, that flounder absolutely choked it. You know you're throwing the right bait when they choke them that deep, that quick. As soon as I felt him on there, and he thumped it, he thumped, he had a good thump on it. I side load my rod a little bit, and I felt him on there and set the hook, and he had swallowed it that deep, that quick. And here comes the raindrops. Already, y'all. Been fishing 10 minutes. Caught that nice 20 inch flounder and now it's raining. That is the weather we've been having in South Alabama the last two months. Gotta watch that lightning though. As long as we just get a little rain, I'm good with it. I tried to fish yesterday. I only really have one day during the week that I can fish and that's Friday afternoon. Tried to fish yesterday, it rained. It was a bust. Hoping I can get y'all a good video out today though, but it's not looking promising. Ooh, I'm fixing to get my butt wet. Golly, I don't want to quit fishing. I'm gonna hold out as long as I can for y'all. All right, everybody, that storm was bad. It rolled in on me, a lot of lightning. A lot of rain had to haul tail it to the launch but we're back at the house weather's cleaned up a little bit and we're going to do a catch clean and cook i'm going to show you how i prepare my flounder for a stuffed flounder with a twist something uh you normally don't see if you want to impress some guests nice fancy meal this is the way to do it we are going to remove all the bones all the bones in this fish enough talking let's get started all right we're going to start by scaling this fish both sides dark side and the white side nothing beats a stainless steel wire brush for scaling your fish it gets every one of them off it's quick and it's easy doesn't miss any scales <clears throat> that fish down <clears throat> all right now we're going to cut the head off you can feel right there you can feel where the the jaw stops and the meat starts that's where you want to go in with your fish take that head and just twist it just like that We're going to be using our sword seven inch flexi really love this knife really love this knife it's corrosion resistance they've got a protective coating on the blade to keep it from rusting that knife's been in my boat about five or six months and it looks great all right your typical way of stuffing flounder is you go in make a cut down the lateral line 
and fillet out each side, make a big pocket and stuff, put your seasoning in it. We're not doing it that way. We're gonna completely debone this flounder. We get our mat out to keep our fish from sliding around. What we're doing, we're gonna ride right down that backbone. We got our tip of our knife right here. And we're gonna work all the way to the edge. But don't cut through. Make sure you don't cut through all the way to the edge. And you gotta have a good sharp knife to do this. And you can't beat these sword knives. I can feel the tip of that knife right there. That's what I want. And as we go, we form in a pocket, right? <clears throat> we can continue to go deeper and deeper. It's easier to do on a smaller fish. But see, I've got that knife. I've got the tip of that knife right, right there. I feel it. So we're just going to work it right to the edge. Rotate our knife over. all the way work that blade all the way around so we got a big pocket in there right so we flip it over we do the same thing on this side same exact thing take our knife in find that backbone go as far as you can with your knife Work the edge of that blade right to the edge. Go back in, same thing for the other side. Work that knife right on down. Don't cut through. Now you can make your deepest cut. Work the tip of that knife. All the way in. I got the tip of that knife right there by the tail. Just like so. Come in all the way. Right there is the tip of my knife blade. Alright. <clears throat> now we go in, we make a couple of cuts, and we can trim this closer in a minute. And then we start turning that flounder inside out. See how we're doing this? All right, here we go. We'll start rolling that flounder. Just like that. See that? We're just pulling that fish now. Rolling that meat. There we go. Once you get him rolled, it goes pretty easy. Snip those little bones. And we'll pull it all the way as far as we can. Just like that, right? We're all the way down at the base of that tail. We'll get our bigger knife and Cut that tail off. All right. That's your backbone of the flounder. 
pretty clean. Now we get our scissors and we come in here very carefully. We can run our hand on the inside and we come in here and we trim. We trim all these bones. All the way around, right? All the way. Y'all ever seen anything like this? I call this the ultimate stuffed flounder. <clears throat> now we have a 100% deboned doormat flounder right there. Now I'm going to leave him like that. I'm going to get inside in the kitchen. We're going to pat him dry. I'm going to put all my Cajun seasoning all in the meat, rub it in the meat on both sides. And then we're going to invert him, and we've got a stuffing pocket to put our lemons in, our crab stuffing, all of that. I'm fixing to show you in just a minute. Stay tuned. All right, we're in the kitchen now. We've got our big flounder here. We have patted it dry on each side. We've got it ready. We've got our crab stuffing. I like making my own. I'm out of crabs, so in a pinch, this works good. This is made in Viola battery, so you know it's got to be good. We've got two packs of that. What we're going to do, we're going to put it in a bowl. We're going to cut up some onions, some peppers, put some lemon juice in there, some Cajun seasoning, mix it up real good. I get this crab stuffing from Rouse's. I've used it several times. Pretty good stuff. Got my helper right there with me. What's going on, Mick? You'll get some in a little bit. So we got a crab stuffing in our bowl. We're gonna get our green onions. Put some green onions in there. We're gonna get our pepper. We're gonna get our bell pepper. <clears throat> We're gonna cut open a few lemons. I like putting about two lemons in there. I'm gonna get some Justin Wilson Cajun seasoning. Sprinkle in there heavy. And frog bone, blackening seasoning.
and we're going to take our flounder being it's turned inside out we can put a good coating of cajun seasoning on each side of that fish Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there. Flip him over. Repeat the process. <clears throat> now we can take that flounder and turn it right side out. We just reach down there, grab hold of the tail. Invert the whole fish Just like that Now we'll mix up our stuffing And I've got a couple more flounder that I'm gonna do as well That's why I've got so much stuffing in here We'll get a handful of that stuffing. It just makes a big old pocket that we can put quite a bit of stuffing in. And the beauty of this is once it comes out of the oven, there's no bones whatsoever in it at all i mean look at that y'all just full of that good crab stuffing press it down now we'll come back and season the outside as well that is going to be so good put it in our baking pan Get us another lemon. We're going to slice this one up. Get us a couple pieces of lemon. Put on that fish. That is going to be an awesome, awesome meal. All right. We have got our oven preheated to 375. We're going to put that flounder in there for about 45 minutes. Check it, and we'll be right back. All right, we just pulled it out of the oven. Be sure to cover it up. I didn't show that in the video, but make sure you cover it up. Been cooking it close to an hour now. All right, it looks absolutely fabulous. Super, super hot. Absolutely no bones in this whole entire fish. All right, let's go in for a bite. Absolutely awesome stuff, Flounder. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you did, like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you hadn't already. Thank y'all. See y'all next week.